Hey everyone, I'm Camille from electroformingartist.com and today I want to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of electroforming. The first advantage for me is that with electroforming you can create beautiful high quality jewelry. Electroform jewelry is very sturdy and lasts in time. When you buy a piece of copper electroform jewelry, you can literally keep it forever. And this is one of the reasons why many electroforming artists charge a lot for a piece of jewelry. You have probably noticed that most artists charge between 50 and 150 dollars a piece. This is quite a lot for handmade jewelry in my opinion, because I think that most pieces of handmade jewelry sell between 20 and 40 dollars a piece, depending on what's being done. But the fact that you can charge this much for a piece of jewelry is very good for you because when you make a sale, you don't make $20, you make $100. When you successfully electroform something, you feel really proud because you know that there is a lot of work behind this piece of jewelry. So this is one of the things I really like about electroforming. You are really proud of what you're making because it is beautiful and it takes a lot of work to make it. The second biggest advantage of electroforming is that not many people do it and that is a big advantage for you, especially if you want to sell your jewelry. When I first started making electroform jewelry, I was looking for a form of art that not many people do. Even though electroforming is becoming more and more popular, there are still a few people that do it compared to wire wrapping, for example. And this is a big advantage for you for one simple reason. If you want to sell your jewelry, you will have less competition on the market. So if you want to start electroforming, I really recommend that you start this year because I am pretty sure that in the next few years, more and more people are going to do it. The third advantage is that possibilities are truly endless with electroforming. I have said it before and I'm going to say it here, you can electroform almost anything. And that is a big advantage when you want to create something really beautiful and unique. You can electroform glass, resin, paper, organics, crystals, basically anything that you want. You can even combine other crafting techniques with electroforming. For example, you could make something with resin and then electroform it. This way you'll have something really unique that you can sell to a higher price. Now I'm going to talk about the disadvantages of electroforming. One of the biggest disadvantages for me is that you must be really patient to do electroforming. I am not a patient person and when I first started electroforming, it was really hard for me to wait 12 hours for my piece to be ready. And because it takes so long to create a piece of electroform jewelry, I cannot create too many pieces each week. It takes me around two days to create one piece of electroform jewelry. I know this might seem very long, but if you take your time to do the design and wait for your epoxy to cure, and then paint, and then add liquid latex, and then electroform, all of this would take more than 24 hours. But if you are patient, electroforming is definitely for you. Another big disadvantage of electroforming is that it is really frustrating sometimes. Electroforming jewelry is not really complicated, but it might still take you a few weeks to figure out how it works. When I first started electroforming, I had a lot of problems the first two months and I actually wanted to give up more than once. Now I know how to solve my problems and maintain my bath, so whenever something happens, I'm able to fix it. You will have to be patient and learn from your mistakes. The first few weeks will be difficult, but don't give up because it gets easier. The last disadvantage is that electroforming is really expensive. When you first start electroforming, you have to spend at least $200 in supplies. And if you also need jewelry making supplies such as tools, copper chains or even crystals, you'll have to spend even more. I think I spent around $500 when I first started electroforming and each month I buy new supplies. So before you start electroforming, make sure you have the budget or that it's going to be worth it. Because there is no point spending $500 in supplies if you are not going to invest yourself in the process. Thanks for watching my video and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video.